Hello everyone, welcome to Logical Solutions. In this video, you will learn how to work with interference fits. Here we have two rings with interference fit where the outer diameter of the inner ring is 22 inches and the inner diameter of the outer ring is 21.25 inches. So we have an interference of 0.75 inch. Therefore, the inner ring is in compression and the outer ring is in tension. And we shall calculate the stresses and displacement at the interface. Under partial study, a custom material is predefined and applied to the two rings of the assembly. Now we will define a string fit contact between the outer face of the inner ring and the inner face of the outer ring. Explore the assembly to reveal the overlapping phases. In simulation study 3, right click the connections and select contact sets. In the property manager, set the type to string fit. Click inside the set box 1. Then click the outer face of the inner ring. Click inside the face for set 2 box. Then click the inner face of the outer ring. And click OK. We shall mesh the rings now. In the simulation study tree, right click the mesh and select create mesh. In the property manager under mesh parameters, select inches for units, type 1 for global element size. The thickness of the rings is 1 inch. By setting the element size to 1 inch, we force the mesh to include a single element across the width. Now in simulation study tree, right click the partial study and select properties. In the dialog box, on the option tab, under gap control, select improve accuracy for low penetration contact in surfaces. Under solver, select direct pass solver and use inertial relief. If a model is not adequately restrained, a small force can cause rigid body motion. Even in cases when the applied forces are balanced, a small unbalanced force can result from numerical approximations. When this option is checked, the program automatically applies force to counteract unbalanced external loads. You do not have to apply any restraints. So now we shall run this study and view the results. Let's view the radial stresses of the two rings. We'll view the radial stresses with respect to the reference axis 1. In simulation study tree, right click the results folder and select define stress plot. In the property manager under display, select normal stress in x direction and PSI for units. Under advanced option, select axis 1 in the fluid feature manager design tree. Clear default shape and click OK. So you have a maximum stress of 64,000 PSI in the contacting phase of the two rings. Let's also see the displacement plot. So the maximum displacement is of 0.44 inches for the inner ring and 0.3 inches for the outer ring. So friends, this is all about how to use string fits in SOLIDWORKS simulation and interpreting results. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe our channel for more updates in SOLIDWORKS simulation. For further queries, please contact.